Hey everybody, it's Dr. Keith Amadeo, and today we're talking about insulin, or insulin resistance really. I know it's a term a lot of people have heard, or seen a commercial about on TV, or been diagnosed with, or know somebody that's been diagnosed with insulin resistance. So we're just going to talk about it a little bit. So first off, what is insulin? Insulin is just a hormone um, secreted or made by the pancreas that allows us to use sugar at a cellular level. Sugar is very important. It's used for things like fuel for our brain, energy. And so when we get insulin or have insulin resistance, we cannot use that sugar properly at a cellular level, like in your liver or your fat cells or your muscles. So what happens when we get insulin resistant? The pancreas will secrete or make more insulin. So what this does in turn is raises up your blood sugar or puts more sugar in your blood. And when this happens, we get things like obesity, diabetes type two, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. So when all these things come together, all these factors come together, the high blood pressure, the diabetes type two, um, the high cholesterol, they're actually called metabolic syndrome. And when all these things are happening to the patient, we, we define them as metabolic syndrome. So what are some predisposing factors or some risks how we get insulin or insulin resistance actually, or things like gestational diabetes, uh, Cushing syndrome, long-term use of steroids, family history of diabetes, uh, PCOS, these are all things that can cause insulin or insulin resistance. So what happens to these patients? These patients usually get put on a drug called metformin. We know metformin, a lot of patients can't tolerate it, it makes them feel awful. And even long-term use of metformin can, is very dangerous, it causes things like non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, and or patients are jumping on this craze of the new injections or shots when we, when we have, when we're talking about just for weight loss. These shots have been out for a long, long time. You know the ones I'm talking about, everybody's doing them or you might have tried them yourself. They were actually been made for diabetic type two patients to regulate their blood sugar through the pancreas. So what happens long term, I'm already seeing a lot of issues arise in my clinic from patients that have been doing this long term. You can get things like pancreatitis or thyroid medullary disease. And a lot of times it, uh, the weight comes back anyway, they haven't resolved the underlying issue and they have really damaged their pancreas, which is very dangerous to do. So if you're out there doing those shots, be really, really careful. Like I said, they were meant for diabetes type two patients and they weren't meant for long-term use. They were meant to get the blood sugar under control and for the patient to lose the weight naturally or safely and then come off these injections. So be very careful with those injections. And I know myself, I would not wanna be on any medication or injection long-term. The less stuff we can take, the better off we'll be in the long run. So what I did is, you know, through the years, cause I've seen so many insulin resistant patients is just design a protocol specifically for them, for their insulin resistance, which is a really hard issue. They're, to resolve, they are feeling very defeated, uh, stressed out, been told so many things, put on new medications. So if you're insulin resistance, have diabetes type two, PCOS, you know, obesity, these things, just go to kyberweightloss.com, make a no charge consultation, and let's just sit together, sit down and see, talk and see if I can help you with one of these things. Cause I know how frustrated and overwhelmed you feel when we hear, the, when we hear these terms and you feel like there's no answer or nothing that can be done. So if you're suffering with insulin resistant, like I said, just go online, make your no charge consultation at carboweightloss.com and let's address the underlying issues of this metabolic syndrome, which comes from the, the, the insulin resistance, things like your thyroid, your adrenals, your hormones, all those things have to be addressed when we have insulin resistance. And what I've done is all put it together in a protocol that can really help the patient lose weight, feel better, and get off medications, which is always one of my primary goals for the patient. We do not want to be on this stuff long term. We all know they have side effects. So I appreciate your time. Hopefully I can help, like I said, make that no charge consultation and let's just sit down and talk. Thanks a lot.